Hey everybody, it's Lavender Rose. And uh, I'm glad you'd come to see me. We're gardening already. Here's what we're doing. We're mixing this dirt here, which feeds four months, for this dirt over here that feeds nine months. Now the reason why is, as you can see here, this is really rich looking black soil. Looks good. But it didn't have, it's, not, it's a little heavier. A little heavier. So anyway, I'm putting some of the, some of this in it because you can see it's nice and light. See how light it is? So I'm mixing both so I'll give it a good, now we have a lot of sand here. Lots and lots of sand. So you need to, when you dig a hole to put your plant in, you need to um, put some of the soil in there in your hole. Because uh, if you don't, that sand just don't grow a whole lot very good. So anyway, and it doesn't have the nutrients either that it needs. Although I've been putting leaves there for two or three years now. I always put my leaves and cover it and just, just let it stay there. And I'm sure that does help some um, as far as it decaying and making some better soil. Okay, so a little more of this. You see what I'm doing? I'm mixing both of them in there. And uh, I'll just turn it with my hand. Now, what I did this year, Lord, we've had so much problem. We've changed uh, people we rent from. Oh my gosh. Uh, they are slicker than poop on a Wilbur, uh, poop on an iceberg. Um, yeah, we'll probably be moving at the end of our contract, but we couldn't find anything at the thing, and they kind of rushed us on it, and we had to go ahead and sign. We got to stay at the same payment we was making, and blah, 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 whatever. Anyway, this, I made a netting for the cucumbers to grow, and I macromated it. The first one went very well. This went really well. The second one, not so much. The uh, second part of it, it was tangling and everything. It was just such a mess. But the first one looks really good. <laughs> <laughs> we also got the little no sims out biting. Oh god, I hate those things. Um, if you'll put lotion on before you go out or something like it's biting, it helps some, but not always. Now I'm going to leave the black down. I'm going to go in there and I'm going to cut holes, plant my seeds in there. We've got rain coming in, supposedly. Uh, always plant right before rain if you can because it keeps your... Um, you know, it does it so much better for your seeds and your plants and stuff. Um, can't stress that enough. <coughs> Excuse me, but a lot of times I say it's going to rain at top, then you I always get mine water anyway. But if you can get rain, it lets it go down deeper and just does better. Okay, so I got some tomatoes to plant. They look a little pinkish, but I think they'll do fine. Uh, we had some free, a frost down here, and so the stores stores did not have um, a lot really good selection and this is a celebrity and I've already cut off the bad leaves this one is an early girl I love my early girl this is the only early girl I can find everybody else has done bottom so this is a patio size um, and it looks kind of bad but that's okay you come in here and you take the suckers out when there's one growing out of a limb like that and hopefully I'll have one to show you um, you need to clip it off because it takes all the energy away from your uh, others and it won't do near as good. And if you clip those off, you will get more. Uh, I was trying to see if I could find one another, another one real quick, but I can't right at the moment. Um, just remember, the sucker is always right there because that one I took off just there. Let's see, this one was, let me have one. It was growing out right there. See? And you don't want those. You have to clip those off because they will, uh, it won't produce hardly any and it takes away from the plants. You clip those off first. I'm going to get the rest of these dead leaves off. It'll look a lot better. It already has tomatoes. There's one, there's two, there's three, four down there, and there's another little one, I think. So I got at least four or five tomatoes already on there. Paid a little more for this one, as you can see. I went ahead and paid that for it because that's the only little girl, early girl I could find. And, um, like I said, it looked a little rough. It looks good up here. It looks good up here. Uh, I feel like I should replant it, repot it. 
that I'm about afraid to. He had his roots all up in here, so it, it feels like it's pretty tight. So I don't know. I may just put some of that good soil in there and leave it for now, since I'm already cutting leave, leaves off. It might uh, put it in a slight shock, and we don't want that. We want it to stay, get back healthy. And that's what we're going to do. It needs some sun. I'll probably set it down here on the floor in a little bit. Uh, we're supposed to have rain today, so I'm trying to hurry up and get my garden done. As you can see down there, that's what it looks there. And the, like I said, the uh, last year I grew them up on the ropes, the cucumbers, and they did so good. So easy to pick, and they did so good. So I'm going to try that again this year. Okay, I'm going to let you go for now. Um, I have an update. I'm going to cut through my black stuff, dig me a little hole out. Put my good dirt in there, and then I'll plant my seeds real close to the top so they can get a good start. And uh, I'll see you when I get back. Lots to do, lots to do. Been busy, 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 busy. Um, I can't stress that enough. I've been busy. I know my hair probably looks horrible, but I was standing on my head, you know. <laughs> Things you have to do when you're gardening. And uh, I hope you like. Uh, and, uh, you know, click that button. I hope your people are still watching. I know it's been a while. I'm afraid maybe you gave up on me, but everything's just been in turmoil for several months now, um, since way before Christmas. So it's just like, mm. the, uh, the greenhouse didn't do much in there this year because it's just, like I said, so much turmoil. Uh, I'm hoping things will settle down. I'm hoping they don't tell me, come back and say, oh, you could have to take that down. Because here's why. The yard people come in, they're using community service people and the people don't speak English. And I try to tell them, don't take the leaves off the top of that. So they've done it like three different times. After I go in the house, they blow all the leaves off. So it's kind of disheartening. And uh, I talked to my son, I said, what in the world am I going to do? You know, I'm tired of this. Uh, I had just got done being over with that flu, that 15 day flu, that stuff was just terrible. So I look kind of bad, so I apologize. But uh, I'm getting healthy, getting better. And getting out here and getting stuff done. That's that's the main thing I want to do. I want to get stuff done. So anyway, um, that's it. Uh, they kept coming in, blowing my garden down. <clears throat> I asked my son, I said, what in the world can I do? He said, well, that contractor stuff, because he said, get a fence. I said, they'll blow right through it. He said, okay, get the contractor's black material and put it up. So that's what we've done. As you can see, I first had this up, but that is just that ground cover and it tears like crazy uh, so I got this if, if I blow on it it's gonna you know take the pressure of that uh, it'll be easy to fix back if it does tear so anyway we drove the sticks in the ground this can be taken up and taken with us so it's not a problem it's not like it's something permanent um, <laughs> the lizards are down there do you see them at the end of the tray there's like three of them somebody must have told them I turned the water on there you go because whenever I turn the water on, my little water hose leaks just a little bit. And they go down there and get water. It's kind of funny. All right, dear people. Good to see you again. And uh, please come and visit. And I will try to get stuff out more often than what I've been doing. Like I said, it's just been turmoil. And I didn't know what I could do and what I couldn't do. And it's just like, oh my gosh. So I'm going ahead with this. And I told him, I said, I, the roof had been leaking. And we had mold in there. It was just crazy. Um... But he did get the, the roof fixed, so I'm hoping all that's going to clear up and I'll be feeling a lot better. All right, bye for now. I will talk to you later. There's what we're doing today. All right, bye-bye. Well, I look bad. I know I do. <laughs> I've been out here doing the garden, and I'm hot, and I'm tired. Luckily, I got it done before all the rain. Now they're calling for a render tornado watch. I'm going crazy. It's great, great, great. Anyway, so there it is. Now beside the fence, this little fancy thing that I made is going to be cucumbers. Right here on this side is tomato plants planted. I think you can see them. So I've got them there. They'll have a little bit of shade that won't hurt them as bad. I'll tell you what, I'm one tired puppy. Um, I got this in the bucket. He's looking so much better after just cutting off some of them dead limbs. And uh, I, like I said, I have tomatoes there already. See? Why is it all? Oh, because I'm out. Sorry. I was zoomed in too far. Duh. Um, some tomatoes there. And right there. Um, some more blooms all over, so that's good. That's good. But I put in this. This is what I used. 
Ugh, dark. Black dirt. Beautiful black dirt. It's amazing. And it uh, feeds the soil. Uh, anyway, so that's what I got. That was garden soil, it says, by... And of course, I cut the name off. Let me see what's on the back side. By... Expert Gardener. I don't know. Is this the name of it? Yeah, Expert Gardener is the name of it. Anyway, so I got that. This is a little heavy. But I wanted some heavy to go with my life. Because that will hold water better. This is absolutely amazing stuff. This is Virgo. Um... Figaro. <laughs> I'm tired, can you tell? Yeah. This is uh, Figaro, and it uh, feeds for nine months, so yay on that. The no sims is starting to bite again, and I'm ready to run. I'm tired of it. Uh, got by most of the day. If you put, if put lotion on, it smells. A lot of times they don't bother you. And uh, I guess I've wore some off in places that um, they've decided, you know, it's time to eat. Okay, so there that is. So we have tornado warning out. Uh, I think they've been some killed by the tornadoes that landed from this stuff, so I'm hoping we don't. I'm trying to leave it sitting there to see if it can get some uh, sun. This I'll be able to move it in the shade, move it in the sun, back and forth. It'll be good. All right then. Uh, I tell you, see there's where I braided that, or um, what do you call it, uh, cheapies, never can think of that stuff, macrame, macrame that rope, because last year I just strung strings up and down, up and down, it looks so tacky, didn't hold that well, this will be so much better, it'll hold a lot better I'm sure, all right, oh. <laughs> excuse my looks, but I'm a working girl. I get out and I do my garden. So yeah, I may not look the prettiest in the world, but it's okay. I got, I would say green thumb, but I think it all looks black like dirt now. I'm gonna say bye for now. Uh, like, subscribe, come back to see me. Uh, I'm also try to start doing things more, keep you updated on the gardens um, and stuff like that. Uh, I built a little thing, that right there this green thing out there, I can swing it out over my trees to block the frost off. And then when I don't need it, I just bring it back. So if anybody wants to know how I did that, they can ask. I'll be sure and let you know. Anyway, so bye for now. Thanks for coming by. Get you some coffee or Coca-Cola or whatever you'd like to drink. And uh, come back to visit. <sighs> yep, they're starting to bite. All right, bye for now. I'm going to hit the showers. Oh, God, do I need a shower. Bye.